I built my own vibe coding platform with Vibe SDK, and so can you without coding. In this video, I'll walk you through the entire process to set up this app so you can have your very own private vibe coding platform. You don't have to pay for credits in another app. You just pay for token usage. We're going to deploy this open source tool called Vibe SDK created by Cloudflare. You can see it here and some of the apps created by the community. For example, this neat looking dashboard. It's completely open source. Here is its GitHub repo. So you can build your own vibe coding platform built on Cloudflare, designed to scale. It's private. It's all yours. You can keep it private. You can run it locally. You can extend this open source code base and adapt it to your specific use case or niche. However, getting this up and running is actually a bit involved. So this video, I'm going to walk through step by step everything you need to actually deploy this on your custom domain. But first, hit like, hit subscribe. And if you don't know me, my name is Sabrina Romanov. I teach millions of people AI for free, and I previously sold an AI company for millions of dollars with my background in computer science and physics. I'm going to walk through all of these checklist items, and by the end of this video, you should have your very own deployment. It should look like this, but deployed on your custom domain. Okay, so let's start with the quick deploy checklist. So before clicking this deploy to Cloudflare button, we're going to have to set up all of these things first. Your Cloudflare workers paid plan, your workers for platform subscription. This is a separate subscription from this. And then if you're deploying it on a subdomain, such as agents.sabrina.dev, then you will need to set up the advanced certificate manager as well. We're not going to do this. I'm just going to show you how to deploy the app on a top level domain. So what I mean by that is something like freevibecode.ai. That's a top level domain. Whereas something like agents.sabrina.dev, this is a subdomain. If you're doing this, you will need to set up the advanced certificate manager. But again, in this tutorial, we're just going to do a top level domain. So we're going to deploy it to freevibecode.ai. And last, you're going to need a Google Gemini API key. So we're going to be using Gemini as the brain behind the coding. We have to set up all of these things first before clicking deploy to Cloudflare. And then after we click deploy to Cloudflare, we have to configure all of these variables. So the first thing is the workers paid plan. So what is that? So if you go to developers.cloudflare.com slash workers slash platform slash limits, this is their documentation on the account plan. So you can sign up completely for free for Cloudflare. And this is what you get. So this column describes what you get for free. And this column describes what you get when you upgrade to workers paid. So in order to run this, we will have to upgrade to workers paid. The second prerequisite is workers for platform subscription. So let me show you what that is real quick. Basically, it's an additional 25 bucks per month and you have to purchase it through the Cloudflare dashboard. So we need to sign up first, then we're going to purchase workers paid, then we're going to purchase this workers for platforms plan. First, let's sign up for Cloudflare. So go to cloudflare.com, click start for free, and you're just going to have to sign up for an account. After signing up with your Cloudflare account, you're going to see this dashboard asking you to enter an existing domain or register a new domain. If you're non-technical, I recommend just registering a new domain directly with Cloudflare so you don't have to set up some other accounts in GoDaddy or uh, Amazon. So to do that, just click reg this, just click this link, register a new domain. Okay. So just search for a domain that you'd like. This will show you the available options. I'm going to choose this one, freevibecode.org. Click confirm. Just fill out this registrant's information and payment here and you'll be good to go with registering the domain with Cloudflare. Now that we've created our Cloudflare account and you've registered a domain, we're going to sign up for the Cloudflare workers paid plan, which is five bucks per month, and then the workers for platform subscription, which is 25 bucks per month. So in total, 30 bucks per month to run this on Cloudflare. Okay, so go to your Cloudflare dashboard, dash.cloudflare.com. Okay, I actually have two domains registered, one registered through Cloudflare and the other one was from GoDaddy. So that's why you see these two. Um, on the left hand side, click compute workers, scroll down to workers plans. Okay. And this is our current plan free. This is all the stuff you get, but now we have to upgrade to workers paid. Okay. Do that. This is all the stuff included in the played plan. Go ahead and click purchase. And it should say you have successfully upgraded to the workers paid plan. Okay, so that's the first prerequisite. The second one is workers for platform subscription. It's basically 25 bucks per month and it comes with the following usage allotments and overage pricing. So just click this. The link to go to is this. Uh, to get to this, you could just click workers for platforms on the left sidebar here. 
Okay, and then all you have to do is click purchase and it should say purchase complete. Okay, total due now, 25 bucks per month, continue to dashboard. The third prerequisite here, advanced certificate manager, we don't need to do because we're using a top level domain. If you're doing something like agents.sabrina.dev, a subdomain, then you would need to set up this advanced certificate manager. But since we're using a top level domain, we get to skip this prerequisite. And the last prerequisite is signing up for a Google Gemini API key. So go to AI dot google dot dev so open up ai dot google dot dev sign up and then it should take you to google ai studio if it doesn't go to ai studio dot google dot com and you should see something like this on the bottom left corner it says get api key so go ahead and click that then click create api key in the top right corner you're gonna have to name your key i'm gonna call mine vibe code and you will have to create a project now this i'm also gonna call vibe code okay select the project you just created and then click create key and we don't need to use this yet, but let's leave this page open. You will need to copy the API key when we set all these environment variables down here. We now click deploy to Cloudflare and we will be taken to our dashboard where we can configure the following variables. Okay, so just make sure you've set up this and this. If you're using a subdomain, you need to set up this and make sure you've set up your Gemini API key. Now click deploy to Cloudflare. And now you're gonna see a really long form like this where you'll have to fill out everything and configure all of your secrets and environment variables here. We're gonna go through slowly from top to bottom. Okay, the first thing is this warning. Uh, this means our uh, app is using R2, which is only available with an R2 subscription. Go ahead and click upgrade now and you'll see more information about it. Basically R2 is like AWS S3, like bucket storage, but you could start completely for free, okay? So it is a subscription, but you can start with it completely for free and you get 10 gigs per month for free. So go ahead and it should say total due now is zero, okay? and just click add R2 subscription to my account. This is really important. You will only be charged if you exceed the monthly limits available in the free plan. So this is not adding any additional cost at the moment. It's only additional cost if you exceed the monthly limits. And the monthly limits are very generous. So I don't, uh, so for a typical person deploying this, especially if you're the only one using the Vibe coding platform or you just have a small group of users at your company, I don't expect you to hit past the usage limit of the free plan. But now if you go back to this form, if you uh, refresh the page, now that warning should go away. Okay, see, now we don't have the blue. Okay, I'm just gonna close that out. Okay, the next step is to configure your repository. So what this means is a Git repository will be created for you and connected to your Vibe Coding application. Every push to your production branch will be deployed automatically. This is actually really nice. So you have, this is actually really nice. So you'll have version control. You can connect your GitHub or GitLab account. Make sure to make it private. Okay, so I'm gonna connect my GitHub account. I should mention before you connect it, obviously make sure you have a GitHub or GitLab account. Okay, so go to github.com and just sign up for a free account. Now, if you're non-technical, I recommend just choosing all repositories and then click install and authorize. If you are technical, then I recommend doing only select repository, so make a repo first and give Cloudflare access to only that repository. That way it's not overreaching in terms of access. Um, but, but let's just assume, you know, you're fairly new to GitHub, you just signed up for the first time, you'll want to select all repositories and click install and authorize. Okay, my project name will just be Vibe Code, namespace Vibe Code prod. This is for the database, name for the S2 bucket, Vibe Code dash templates. And then go ahead and go back to Google AI Studio go to API keys and click copy API key. So you're gonna copy over here. Next, we're gonna create these secrets, a JOT secret and a webhook secret. And they're basically used, this one's used for user session management. And this webhook secret is used to make sure that incoming requests to your webhook are coming from Cloudflare as opposed to an attacker. So if you're on a Mac, it's super easy to create these. Uh, just open iTerm or whatever is your preferred terminal and type in open SSL. This should come pre-installed on your Mac. Um, if it's not and you use brew, for example, to install packages, do brew install open SSL. Uh, and then what we're going to do is just generate the JOT token. So here just type open SSL random 
base 64 and let's do 32 okay and you're gonna run this twice the first one you're gonna copy and paste here as your jot secret the second one you're gonna copy and paste down here as your webhook secret so go ahead and do that I'm gonna regenerate mine of course last couple things to check before it will run go to AI studio.google.com and set up your billing accounts I'm going to ask you to link Google AI studio to a billing account if you don't have one you're gonna have to create one and then link it to this account that way you might see a screen like this and then click create billing account okay and then name your billing account then you kind of have to go back here refresh the page and then link your new billing account to Google AI studio okay once you've pasted those in there now that we're gonna configure our environment variables don't touch this link uh, this actually goes to Cloudflare's template repository like different types of web apps and mobile app templates so you don't want to change this allowed email you want to set this if you only want a certain email address to access your app so that people don't abuse it and you know rack up charges to your Google Cloud accounts here's the dispatch namespace um, I again I'm making mine consistent so I just want to call it vibe code okay Cloudflare AI gateway I'm gonna call this vibe code and sandbox instance types for most people standard dash three should work fine but if you're expecting lots of people to use it and you need the next level of performance choose standard dash four okay and then you don't need to change anything down here it takes about 10 to 15 minutes to deploy everything so just double check you filled in everything the way you want otherwise it does take quite a bit of time to redeploy so we have our project name namespace vibe code just everything's consistent this is our, our two buckets you have your API key for Google your job secret your webhook secret do not change this uh, okay and leave this blank if you want lots of people to sign up or put your email if you you want to be the only user for it uh, I've changed this namespace and this gateway to be consistent and then I upgraded mine to standard dash four but most people will want to keep this standard dash three. Oh, and the last field I forgot to mention is custom domain so just type the domain that you bought from Cloudflare or if you already like integrated your GoDaddy do domain you can type that but for most people following along in this video just type the domain that you bought at the very first step when we initially signed up for Cloudflare so technically I bought freevibecode.org through Cloudflare but I actually want to use my other domain free vibe code.ai which is hosted on GoDaddy. Oh, I tried clicking create and deploy, but I guess it requires us to <laughs> fill out this field so people don't abuse it. So I'm just going to put my email so I can sign up. So unfortunately, apparently you cannot leave allowed email blank when doing this uh, through the deploy button. So click create and deploy. And the next page you should see should say building and deploying. And you're going to see all the logs down here so you can see what's happening. And again, this takes 10 to 15 minutes. So uh, it's going to initialize the build environment, uh, make Make your github repo install tools and dependencies build the application and then this part takes like seven to ten minutes actually deploying it to cloudflare's global network so you, you'll see the full logs here but feel free to step away for about 10 to 15 minutes okay when it's done it should say success your project is deployed to region earth so let's just go to the custom domain where we deployed it free vibecode.ai okay awesome here it is um and let's go back to the dashboard real quick probably you want to click monitor your worker and if you're not not technical I know this will look um, intimidating but it's basically the logs uh, for your app uh, I'm gonna set it to live just so we can monitor anything that happens uh, and I, th I believe we'll have to sign up first so just click sign up and then make sure you use the same exact email address uh, that you typed in that field allowed email okay so let's try this just to build a simple to-do list app okay and you can see it looks just like uh, other vibe coding tools like lovable or bolt.new so you put in your prompt and it's going to go through this process of figuring out uh, how to build your project so generating a plan a blueprint generating the code reviewing and fixing the code and then hopefully we should see a preview in browser and have the option to deploy the app directly to Cloudflare workers platform it's called task Zen a minimalist to do app so this is the entire blueprint that it is uh, generating from our forward prompt obviously when you're actually using this for real you might want to spend some time with Claude or ChatGPT to create a PRD or product requirements document but for now I just want to test make sure everything's working um, okay so it's now implementing core application build now it's in the reviewing phase so it's running tests and fixing any issues and now it's loading the preview it says preview URLs may take a moment to become available after deployment so don't worry if you see that preview URL taking forever the fix is really easy um, this is the very last step of the setup where we have to set up the custom domain so that the preview apps are served
served correctly. So go over to Cloudflare, uh, go to account home, and you should see the domains managed by Cloudflare. If you bought one, it should show up here. Okay, click these three buttons click configure DNS for the one that you want to set up. Um, and I already added mine, but basically what you want to do is click add record, click CNAME. You want to do star, and then the target will be the actual domain name. So in my case, it's free vibecode.ai. Make sure this is enabled. So it should be orange. It should say proxy, and then go ahead and click save. This will take a couple minutes to propagate. So don't worry if uh, it's not loading yet. Just go ahead and click save, and then you should see two records like this. this is the one that we just added CNAME star free vibe code proxied. Okay, wait a couple minutes and then reload your app. So we're going to go to freevibecode.ai again. And let's open the previous project we were working on. And now you should see the live preview right here. And let's actually test out our app. So I'm going to open it in a separate URL here. Uh, what needs to be done, uh, edit this YouTube video. Uh, nice. Uh, what needs to be done, repurpose into a blog post using my app, Lotato. And then let's see if we check it off. Okay, cool. This, so this is a pretty awesome, sweet, simple to-do list that, that we whipped up in our own vibe coding platform. Mine is called freevibecode.ai. So later today, you'll be able to go to it and just start building. Um, however, right now it is limited to just my user. So if you are building this for other people to be able to sign up, again, you will have to go through uh, this section down here, post deployment OAuth setup. So this is going to allow other users to sign up into your app. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Hit like, hit subscribe and drop a comment below if you want more detailed tutorials like this.